Hello everyone, in this video here today, we will be discussing how to apply the idea of significant digits in making calculations in physics. Now when we make calculations, as uh, we discussed in the previous video, we knew that uh, we have to leave only one uncertain digit in our final reported uh, answers to any calculation. Now we'll be learning uh, how we can develop a simple set of rules for reporting an answer so that we report the answer with only one uncertain digit. Uh, let's take a calculation example here. In this example, I'm multiplying two numbers with each other. The first has four significant digits, the second has two significant digits, uh, and I'm multiplying them. The green digits are certain and the red digits are uncertain. On multiplying, what we start getting, when we first multiply this uncertain digit with these digits, the result is all uncertain digits because we are multiplying this uncertain digit with these digits. So all these digits are uncertain. Then when we multiply this certain digit with these digits, we get 4, 3, 1, 2 with 2 being uncertain uh, when multiplied even with a certain digit, an uncertain digit produces an uncertain result. On adding, we end up with this number here. And when we add uncertain digits, the final result is uncertain as well. And therefore, in our final result, we have lots of uncertain digits, which we cannot afford to have. And therefore, what we do is we round off so that the final result has only one uncertain digit. Now here, the final result ends up with two significant digits. Now have a look. This had four uncertain digits. Uh, this had four uh, significant digits. This had two significant digits. This has two significant digits. And therefore, the rule we kind of arrive at is that the final result must have as many significant digits as are there in the input number with the least number of significant digits. We can highlight this with the uh, a simple example where we'll be calculating the volume of a cube. Now we've taken a very simple calculation here as an example. We'll be calculating the volume of a cube of 8 centimeter edge length or side length, then 8.0 centimeter side length and then 8.00 centimeter side length. Now in the first case the volume is 8 centimeter into 8 centimeter into 8 centimeter. All these digits are uncertain and therefore the result we get 5.12 into 10 to the power 2 centimeter cube has all three uncertain digits. Now, since the input figures had only one uh, significant digit, the final answer has to be rounded off to exactly one significant digit. In the second case, when we are calculating the volume of a cube of 8.0 centimeter cube, we multiply 8.0 centimeter with 8.0 centimeter with 8.0 centimeter, and, and when we do that, uh, we end up with 5.12 into 10 to the power 2 centimeter cube. 5.12 into 10 to the power 2 centimeter cube has three digits of which the last two are uncertain and therefore we round off to one uncertain digit and, and our final answer now has as many significant digit as the input figure. In the final case where we multiply 8 centimeter with 8 centimeter with 8 centimeter, 8.00, 0, 0, 8.00, 8.00, we end up with 5.12 into 10 to the power 2 centimeter cube. Now here, uh, the final result has only one uncertain digit 
and also it has exactly three uh, significant digits which corresponds with the input figure and therefore in multiplication or even division what rule we follow is that the final answer must have as many significant digits as the input figure with the least number of significant digits. Thanks very much for watching this video.